Someone's mine Swear I started up on a hundred times Gonna need it back Want you to come and find me Just to tell me that I haven't changed Boy, I need to die from you I'm getting money just taking care of me, boy I'm spending time just taking care of me right now Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rabiana. So today I have blonde hair. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just get discouraged because I'm just like, I don't know how it's going to turn out on me because I'm a dark skinned girl, but it turned out actually really, really well. Um, I was not expecting this, but it's like, once you like put yourself together, it actually looks very, very cute. Um, I put like my pictures and stuff on Instagram and Snapchat and if you guys aren't following me on there you might want to do that and everybody has been like telling me that they loved it so this is the video <laughs> the wig does come with three combs two on the sides one in the back and it also comes with adjustable straps and yeah so this isn't a full lace wig or anything it actually has tracks in the back so it's just like a lace front something that I don't like about this wig is that it doesn't really go that far back I'm just so used to like far back partings but um it kind of worked out really okay so it might look like it was easy for me but it really isn't i think that um blonde hair is really like a trial and error type of thing especially if you're not a hairstylist like me i just kind of go for it but um blonde hair is kind of tricky especially when you're trying to blend it into dark skin you would have to use your um you know your foundation to kind of tint the lace and stuff like that and um, I don't want to say that this was easy. It really took me a long, long time to actually figure out like the gluing process and like laying it down and make sure that it blends and stuff like that. Like that's a process. And also I want to let you guys know that when you have blonde hair, you need to apply your wig and lay your baby hairs while you do not have any makeup on your skin. Because if you have any makeup on your skin, it's going to bleed onto the you know your colored hair and it's gonna look awful so i kind of like that kind of happened to me so i know next time to um not have my makeup on while i'm trying to lay my wig you know because it's, it's gonna look awful um okay so i want to talk about like tinkling and shedding now i'm not even about to lie like this wig sheds it sheds which is expected because this is bleached blonde hair like it came bleached the texture, it felt like it was like one of those Jackie type of textures. It wasn't silky at all to me. Um, but like right now, I feel like it still has the same texture, but it does shed. Like, but that's like expected, y'all. Like, it's blonde hair. It's been bleached in the process. So, um, it's not like, let me see, let's see. Oh, honey, it's just shedding. I was, I was about to say that it's not that bad, but all this, it's too much. Okay, so if you're a dark skin girl and you're just like really scared to go blonde, here it is. I did it for you guys. Um, there's not really that many videos or um, tutorials on YouTube of like dark skin girls really wearing blonde hair. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me do it. Let me see if I can do this. But I think that I really did it a good job. I did for the first time. I've never done this. Never went all blonde ever before. Ever. Ever. Ever ever i do want to do this again maybe if i have some bundles so i'm going to probably be asking around for some blonde bundles from a hair company and probably try like different blondes for you guys i think that would be really cool to do on my youtube channel Hey guys, so this wig is from omgqueens.com. Super cute box. Um, had it for so long. It came with an adjustable strap and like two info papers and stuff like that. But the wig comes with three combs and an adjustable strap. It is a lace front wig, so it has tracks in the back. And it's super yellow, you guys. I didn't think that I actually wanted to do a video with the hair being like that yellow so that's why i decided to dye it but here's the air on the little mannequin head that i have and here's the dyeing process so i used two boxes at first and the colors are the medium ash blonde and dark ash blonde from revlon and this is the first take um i had to go back to the store and get two more boxes so 
that's why i'm here for for the trial and error really thought two bosses was going to be okay but um no so i ended up putting it in this ziploc baggie because yes i am very very lazy person and i wasn't about to sit in like dab that hair dye on the hair so i put it all into a ziploc baggie and it distributed the hair really well but it didn't distribute all of it because it wasn't enough dye so i honestly i had to go back to the store and it was just like god but another thing is when you do this when you do it this type of way um the lace is going to die too the knots on the lace is going to die too so that's why i had to go back and bleach the knots on this so here is when i came back from the store and i just dumped both of those developers into my little bowl that i got from sally's beauty supply store they have like really cute like hair stuff in there you guys should go definitely go in there and <laughs> buy y'all hair supplies but yeah i'm just putting both of the developers in there and also both of the hair dyes so that's four in total you guys and all i did was mix up this and then i just dabbed it onto all the blonde parts as you can see like it was so many blonde parts <laughs> in the wig unit so again this is what i'm here for so you guys won't make the same mistakes that i did and here i'm showing you guys the boxes of the hair dyes basically showing you guys that i use four of them in total so um so here i'm just dabbing the hair dye onto the blonde pieces it was so many blonde pieces you guys like i had to like go through and um just dab all over it was like a lot in the bag it was some in the front it was all over the place so yeah just get four boxes and you don't even have to do all this so um another thing is is that it processes really quick so that's what after i had done came back from the store 10 minutes later it was already dark and the hair actually looks horrible like i was like what the heck am i sure that i want to put this on my head but honestly you guys if you've been on my social media then you know how cute this wig turned out but yeah i had so many blind areas and i also once i washed this hair it was just like still like a little bit of pieces <laughs> because once again i'm super lazy so there was still like a little blonde pieces peeking out and stuff like that but for the most part i got most of it see it's just super important like that's right there in that lace area it's just super important to make sure that you get every piece because this ash blonde and that yellow blonde like th that is a totally different like contrast so please you guys make sure that you take your time with this part as you can see i'm literally slapping on there because at this point i'm ready to put my wig on <laughs> yes i did this all in like one day too so a couple of hours it took me to do this also want to let you guys know that this is the um shampoo and conditioner that i picked up to wash this hair and i also did off camera and i bleached the knots on it so that's why it kind of has that yellow type of tint to it it seems like it's like tinted but it's really not i bleached the knots with 50 50 volume developer and it processed so quick like it was only on there for five minutes and i feel like it kind of got on the actual roots of the hair but good thing i'm plugging the hairline so you won't really see that but as you guys could see like this is the hair and it's drying you guys and it looks like it's gray like i was like oh my god what is this but y'all it came out super cute on my skin tone so i'll see you guys in the rest of the video
advice to you dark skinned girls would just be to go for it go for it if you want blonde hair wear blonde hair like who cares nobody and yes i was also scared to do this <laughs> i really was but after i was like this actually looks really good. So you you have to try it out to see if you will like it and if it will look good on you. Um, it is a struggle. You would have you would struggle. I'm telling you, you would struggle so bad. But it's okay. The more practice you get, the better you will get. And I'm already ready to like ask for some blonde hair. And I never asked for blonde hair. So I'm ready to ask for some more blonde hair so that I can do like different color blondes for you guys because I think it would be super cute. And yeah. Um, so if you guys like this hair, like this tutorial, let me know. Give me a big thumbs up. Um, make sure you guys follow me on my social media at underscore Rayviana Simone on Instagram and Rayviana on Snapchat. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.